guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing very well. Yeah, guys, today's video is more of like a very relaxed kind of video because, yeah, I just don't feel like putting makeup on my face, so I just want to feel very relaxed. In case you're seeing for the very first time, hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Nancy. On this channel, I do a lot of styling, haul, fashion, and sometimes I do a little bit of gist, something like chit chat. Yeah, in case um, these are the things you're looking for or some of the things that you're looking for on YouTube, guy, trust me, you are going to have fun with me. So hit that red button and say subscribe and turn on your bell so that whenever there is a video, guys, you can come and check me out because I post video every time. Yeah. So guys, how to remain unbothered, like how to not to stress yourself. That is what I'm going to be talking about. Today, at the same time, I'll just like be, you know, preparing my lunch as well because today I'm eating alone. Yeah. So, how can you stay on bothered? How can you reduce the problem that you are having, that you're giving yourself? Mm -hmm. So, guys, I have a pin, I have a guest on my camera. Oh my God. Sometimes I would say we give ourselves too much stress, too much problem. To me, because... Um, we are the cause of our problem. Like seriously, like sixty percent of eh, look at it. No. So I'm sorry, guys. Just a little bit of distraction. So sixty percent, guys. I would say we are the cause of our problem. How to remain like calm, unbothered, relaxed, no matter what you're going through, no matter what is the problem, and how to reduce your own problem. Because sometimes we are the cause of our problem, but we don't know. So guys, we are going to talk about that now. Why I also prepare lunch for myself, like I said before, I'm going to be eating lunch today. So I'll just have some salad and that's it. Yeah. Yeah, guys, in life, not like first confess time. Yeah. Because trust me, life works in a mysterious way. There are some things that you get to like plan out, and at the end of the day, it doesn't work out. So that is life for you. It's filled with surprises, huh? Yeah. Sometimes we are the cause of our problem because we bother ourselves too much. Like we stress ourselves too much, we give too much problem to ourselves. Sometimes we don't even know that life is not a competition. Like I said before, it's not first confessor. You might be the first at the end of the day, you might be the end to be attend to. So that is how it is. But at the same time, there is no need for the competition. There is no need to be bothered. There is no need for the hate. There is no need to be envy towards others. Because like I said before, it might be you today. It might be me tomorrow. You might be the first to come and you might be the last to be served. Sometimes the patient dog, as I always say, is the fattest dog. But sometimes when you're too patient, you end up with nothing. So relax, relax yourself. Relax yourself, keep focused. And you know, remove that spirit of envy because when you are envy, like you know, when you have that spirit of envy, it's a very bad thing because um, it makes you, you know, bothered. Every little thing will bother you. What others do, what they don't do, everything about your life will become burden because that spirit of envy is in you. It will never help you to concentrate. It will never help you to concentrate, putting your best in whatever you're doing. It will never make you, you know, feel relaxed. And that is not a nice one. So, tips to help you keep focus and stay relaxed and forget all the stress. Forget about what people are doing, how they are going about their life, what is happening with them. So, keep your focus. Just relax as if there is no other person around you. As if you are the only one existing. Relax. Take a cup of water. Relax. And you know, calm yourself down. Don't be envious of others because in life there is too much surprises. You might be there first before me, but trust me, you might be the one that we end up as last. It's not first confessor. If this life had to be first confessor, trust me, we that came last, <laughs> there would have been nothing for us because I remember. 15 years ago when I came to this school, it was all about, oh my God, you came late. Oh my God, wow. If you were to be here 20 years ago, hmm, this country, you were just like, you know, it's just as if the were just, now is late, things are hard, you know, stuff like that. And I was like, oh my God, but that 20 years ago, I was still very little. <laughs> 
I was like, you know, blaming myself, oh God, which means there's nothing here for me anymore, which means I came late, because that was the impression they gave me. They make me feel I'm late. They make me feel, oh my God, we didn't come at the right time. That was what I felt those few months when I just came to this country. That was 15 years ago. So what happened, like I said before, is not first confessor. If God wants to change your story, if God wants to change your story, it's just like, it's not even up to like this. If God wants to really change your story, that is God for you. So don't allow anybody make you feel, oh my God, I'm just coming to YouTube now. There's nothing here for me anymore. Trust me, YouTube is big enough for everybody. Whatever content you want to create, YouTube is wide enough for everybody. Do not make anybody make you feel that, oh my God, you're late. Oh my God, there's nothing here for you. Or... You know, that they are collecting big, big money. They are collecting thousands of euros. The truth being said, when these people started, it was not like this. They were not collecting those, this kind of money when, when they started early. So don't make them, you know, make you feel that, oh my God, you know, you can't make it. You can't have 10,000 subscribers. You can't have, you know, um, 50,000, 100,000 subscribers. Who says so? You can with a little bit of work behind the camera, you can, God can still even, God can still even, you know, make you have like 200,000 subscribers. Why not? Without any work behind it. That is how things work sometimes. We should stop the end of it, guys. It's not pain. You know, we should stop being envy, we should stop the problem, we should stop the insult, we should stop the hate, we should stop all the negativity, you know? Stop it, guys. It's not all about my channel must have more view, so I want to be doing nonsense. This is your channel. If you're having view and your content are not making impact to people that are watching you, to me, it's more, it's more or less like, you know, I don't have view. So we should be very conscious of what we create, the impact that it's going to give to people. What am I creating? What am I talking about? Will anybody learn anything positive? Guys. But it's so bad that nobody wants, nobody wants to say it that way. Everybody's just like, no, I must do some nonsense for me to have view. I must do something crazy for me to have view. I must, you know, talk anyhow. Lost your self-respect, your self-value, self-dignity because you want to have view. My guy, trust me, there is no amount of money that can buy these things that you are just like throwing out there because you want to have view. These are things that money cannot buy. So that is it, guys. You should stop the hate. We should stop the envy, we should stop the criticism, we should stop the bullying, you know. Thank God that, you know, this YouTube is a place whereby everybody can come without paying anything. You can have your own channel, you know, create your platform. You can as well impact others with your platform without, you know, paying anything to have this channel. So thank God for this kind of great opportunity whereby all of us can, you know, some people will still hear our voice. Let's put it like that. But at the end of the day, we are just taking advantage of it. It's as if we don't know why we are here anymore. It's as if, you know, we are here to do what should not be done. No knowledge is little. No matter how much I think I already know, I will still definitely learn from others. You will still definitely learn from me. So that is it. It's not all about I know it all. Because we don't know it all. I don't know it all. We need each other to learn from each other. We need each other to grow. We need each other to concentrate. We need each other to be able to live well. Having a channel is not a yardstick for you to be doing nonsense. Try and, you know, sit down and think of how many people your words can impact. How many people your words can, you know, also destroy. Because, trust me, because the power of life and death, trust me, is in the tongue. The tongue is very, very powerful. We should be conscious of what we say, what we do. Because everybody's watching us. You know, we should learn to have positive mind towards each other. Let's stop the hate. Let's stop the, you know, criticism. Let's stop the envy. Let's just be ourselves. We will get there someday. So guys, take a deep breath. Drink a cup of water. That is why you guys should be drinking water because water is life. You want to relax and calm your nerves down. Water and a very deep breath will help you do that. And forget about the criticism. Keep focus. We get there someday. A lot of things in life is not all about first come, first serve. So guys, we should learn to know how to impact others with our channel. Putting anything out there, just think how many people will this thing impact? How many people will learn something? Will anybody learn something positive out of what I'm putting out there? Is this an inspiration kind of, you know, video? Instead of the criticism and all the negativity, let's 
channel that energy on something very very positive guys yeah so i'm going to prepare my lunch and see you guys on my next video